Hello, this is Michael Hatsis, aka Bang Include, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to make the talking wobble bass that I hear a lot of in wobble tracks these days. So, I'm going to use the operator for this tutorial, but if you don't own operator, just check out the first wobble bass video I did using the simpler and just load up that preset and you should be able to follow along pretty well. So let's get started. Notice down below that I have the same operator sound loaded up that we made in my previous operator video, Dubspot's Wobble Part 2 video. This patch will serve as a starting point for this talking wobble sound. So if you haven't already, definitely check out that video first. So here's the sound I have so far. So the approach we're going to take is we're going to make the basic mouth wobble sound and then we're going to go back over everything and fine tune it. So there's a couple changes I'd like to make. First, I'm going to turn off operators B, C, and D. So we're just left with operator A which is set to a square wave. Then I'm going over to my LFO and setting the rate to half a bar so we get a nice long sound to work with. Lastly, I'm going to go to my filter resonance and just switch that up to about five or so. So now what we have is something like this. And you can hear it's much more of a gentle sound, but it'll work a little better for what we're trying to do. Now let's add the talking effect to the sound. So the trick to the talking effect is digital downsampling. So we can use Live's Redux effect to get this. So I'm going into my device browser and I'm just tossing Redux after the operator. And just make sure you have downsample set to hard. And I'm just going to put the downsampling somewhere between 15 and 24 or so. And when I play it back now, you can hear we have that talking sound. So the way this effect works is that as the LFO sweeps through the filter's frequency, the redux adds that formant or vocal sound to the wobble. So let's just play around a little bit with the downsample settings. So you'll notice as I'm increasing the value of the downsampling, the deeper or more mature the voice is getting. And then if I go too high, it just becomes mucky. Listen now that as I'm decreasing the value, it starts to sound more like a child's voice or higher pitched. And then too low does nothing. I'm going to set my down sampling value to 16. So let's get on back over to operator and add a little FM to the sound. So I'm going to turn on operator B to add a bit of FM or grit to the sound. Now remember that with FM both operators are working together as one so you get different results by tweaking both of them. So with the FM we have so that's a bit harsh so I'm gonna back up a little on the FM you can hear that the lower the volume here, the less FM and the less grit is added to the sound. One thing I'll mention though is that there is a trade-off as the grittiness from the FM is enhanced by the Redux plugin and adds some artifacts. So just be aware of that when you're tweaking around with the FM settings. Let's check out the operator's course. Also, the higher the chorus value is, the more higher end harmonics are added to the sound, as you can hear here. So I'm going to leave my chorus value for operator B at 2. Also notice that you still have operators C and D to mess around with and uh, change the sound characteristics a bit. So let's move on over to the filter section. 
So I'm going to swap out the low SVF filter for the low 24 decibel per octave filter. And you'll notice that it has a bit of a ruder sound as the cutoff is a bit sharper. But it's a bit more finicky to work with. But anyway, some might like the effect it gives. Either way, I'm going to go with the low SVF filter. I feel it's a little bit easier to control. So let's move over to the resonance control. The resonance control is a very important control for this particular sound. It'll change the sharpness or bite of the formant or the mouth sound. So let's check out, change it around and see what happens. You can hear that it's a lot sharper at higher values, whereas down at low values, it doesn't really have that vocal effect. So let's go on over to the filter frequency. Now the filter frequency is another really important control. This control, depending on its value, will change the wording of the sound. So let me play a key to hear what we have right now. So right now we have a yai kind of sound. Now let's lower the filter frequency to hear how it changes the word. You can hear right here at about 188 hertz, it's more of a yay. And at about 95 hertz, it's more of a yee. If we lower it any more, we're going to kind of lose that vocal effect altogether. Also, if we go too high, we'll add a bit of distortion to the sound, which doesn't sound too good. I kind of like the way it sounds with the filter frequency set to about 329. But experiment around, come up with something you like. So let's move on up to the LFO. I have an amount here of about 68 and I think that works perfectly. See if we go a little too high. We start getting that distorted kind of sound and any lower. We start to lose the mouth effect. All right, so the rate I have set to a half, but you know, this is this is up to you guys what you want to do with this. So that LFO rate right there is definitely one you want to map to a MIDI controller. So we covered a lot of different things in this tutorial. So let's just do a quick recap. Now it's the Redux device set to hard, which creates the formant of the voice. Now over to operator, the operator's FM amount, that's what adds grit and growl to the sound. And the operator's chorus knobs tune the sound. The filter frequency is what changed the wording of the sound. Also the filter resonance is what will change the sharpness or the bite of the sound. So thanks a lot for checking this out, hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to check out my music, you could do so at SoundCloud. The URL is soundcloud.com backslash bang include. Also check me out on Twitter as I'll be posting some dubstep patches for Ableton Live there. And that's at twitter.com backslash bang include. Also be sure to check out DubSpot for more music production tutorials and tips. Thanks a lot and take care. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. 
For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.